What's up, family? Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back with another video. So I was very hesitant to make this video. Um, I prayed about it, and you know, because some things, guys, I gotta make a video about this, but you have to keep things between you and the Most High because um, if you don't, if you go around telling people your business, uh, you should look at what happened to Joseph and the dreams that God gave him. If he would have kept that to himself, he wouldn't have went, went through what he went through through his family, his brothers who betrayed him. He would have never went through that. So sometimes you got to keep things to yourself because one thing about these demons, they're going to try to use it against you. So, But before I made this video, this happened a month ago, but I prayed about it, I asked God, and you know, like I always tell you guys, it's all about having a personal relationship. Whenever you're lost or whenever you need answers, like you got to go to God. Like it's so simple, but yet people don't do that. And I think it's because they're like blinded and so programmed by religion to just, you know, follow the ways of the system, the ways of the world. But when you have a personal relationship and you're in tune with the Holy Spirit, literally anything you ask God, he will, he will give you the answers, okay? And he convicted me how God gives you answers. He will convict you or also he will use somebody. So shout out to my brother, Drew. Um, me and him were talking and he brought it up. I was like, bro, like this is definitely God speaking. So here I am making a video. I'm gonna tell you guys how I fell short uh, on this narrow path. You're gonna fall short many times. Your flesh is gonna get weak. Um, and you know, you're gonna start to entertain those thoughts. And let me tell you guys, man, whenever you fall short of the glory of God, you gotta get back up instantly because if you stay down, if you stay in your sin, it's gonna be a lot harder to get back up. And one thing about sin, right, is that, ooh, we're giving that spiritual talk. Every every sin you do, whether it's willfully or unwillfully, you're opening up a door in the spiritual realm for these demons to come in, for these strongholds to build in. And every time you just give in to your willful sin, you're building a stronghold. Look at all these houses, right? All these houses up here and behind me. I don't know if y'all can see it, but, Think about that one sin you committed, it started as a small seed, right? And if, you, if you're if you a slave to that sin years down the line, that stronghold builds in your mind, bro, in your head. Wait, where's the house at? And I don't know, <laughs> my fault guys. All these houses, right? you know how a house looks like. It just gets stronger and stronger. So I'm telling you guys, man, if you guys fell short of sin, or sorry, if you guys fell short, or if you guys are uh, struggling with a sin, I'm telling you guys, this whole month, guys, this whole entire month, I didn't, I didn't tell nobody, but I've been fasting this whole entire month, and I'm telling you, man, God has been breaking, breaking free the chains. Uh, I feel, man, I feel fired up. I got my fire back, man. It feels good. Woo! Yes, yes, man. Doing the will of God, it should bring you the joy that nothing else could feel because you have purpose. And see, when you're not in your purpose, you're gonna find yourself falling after the pleasures of this world. You're gonna fall, you know, gonna, like in life, this is one thing I noticed as a man. You're either gonna serve your purpose or serve, you know, you chase after pleasure. Okay, and the pleasure is your flesh, it's carnality, and that equals death. And your purpose is, you know, your spirit. And one thing about one of the purpose, it, it gives you motivation, it gives you hope, it gives you courage. And, and for those who don't know what their purpose is, the first thing I always tell people is to do the will of God, okay? Keep God's commandments and keep the faith in Christ and ask God, like I said in the beginning of this video, if you have a personal relationship with the Father and there's no way you could go into the Father but first through the Son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, okay? So when you do that, I'm telling you, you're gonna be so in tune. And how I was able, how I was able to overcome my sin was wisdom wisdom definitely gave me the wisdom the knowledge to know to to know better you know to, to know what's right and wrong okay having a clear conscience okay uh, the holy spirit to overpower my flesh that when i when i so like i told you guys the more you feed into your flesh your carnal desires okay your flesh is going to rage war against your spirit and it's going to be a lot harder so the minute you guys fall into sin the minute you guys and it guys it happens to all of us okay um happens to the best of us okay if you look in the bible all the leaders they all fail okay other than christ because this is why we need the blood of christ to wash us from our sins so when you do fall short don't be too hard on yourself listen it happens to the best of us okay but now we have to repent now we have to you know get back up okay the bible says that the righteous falls seven times but he rises up again it also says the wicked they fall into mischief so when the wicked fall they don't get back up they actually fall into more trouble into more sin to more deceit okay so you being the righteous one you being the chosen one of the most high okay you have the authorities over all these demons to see one thing about these demons right oh yes let's go let's go man i feel i told you i got i told you all, i got my fire back <laughs> i told y'all i got my fire back hey hey we lit Hey man, it feels good, man, for real. So 
One thing about these dudes, like once you give up a sin, this is how you know we live in a matrix. This is how you know that Satan is out here, bro, trying to destroy the chosen one, trying to destroy your soul, okay? You give up that sin, okay? You want to start building up your spirit. You want to start living right. You got to understand this. The devil, he don't like that. The devil's a hater, bro. Like, like real talk, he's just a hater, bro. Like, he don't want to see you do good, man. And it's just like how his children, how Satan's children, they hate the righteous. They hate you chosen ones. They hate you too, okay? So one thing about this, man, you give up that sin, you got to expect spiritual warfare. Now, spiritual warfare is happening all day, every day. But when, the, when you give up that sin that was keeping you in darkness, that was keeping you in bondage, okay, or maybe keeping you in Satan's kingdom, Okay? You got to under, understand that he's going to attack, he's going to attack, he's going to attack in multiple ways. Okay, He's going to attack you in your dreams. One thing I noticed about, especially being, being on this narrow path, me falling short many times. Okay, This is not the first time. But I noticed that once like the temptations, when he tries to tempt me in, in this, like let's say whatever sin it was, he, he tries to tempt me again and I'm, I, I resist it. Remember the Bible says, submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. I promise you guys. Well, that's what the Bible says. He will, he will leave you alone, but he's going to tempt you. And it's not the most high God tempting you. That's the devil, okay? Because God does not tempt us to do evil. Okay, he does not tempt us to sin. That's the devil. So once you understand that you have people coming your way, and, you know, they're trying to get you to go back to that sin you, you try to give up. That's just the devil using them. Okay, this is spiritual warfare. Like I tell you guys all the time, when those, those people who don't have the Holy Spirit, they could be used by the devil. Okay, they could be used by evil forces, the spiritual wickedness in high places, and they won't even know. Yes, guys, they won't even know that they're being used. So this is why you don't want to hate on them or talk down on them. You know, just pray for them because, like I said, they, you don't, they don't know they're being used. So always understand that when you give up that sin... Put on the armor of God on, okay? And be ready to fight. Be ready to fight the spiritual wickedness in high places. And one, one thing about, one thing I noticed about this, the devil, right? When he can't mess with you in the physical realm, he's gonna mess with you in your dreams. You're gonna have weird dreams. Uh, you're gonna get attacked in your dreams. The demons are gonna try to attack you, try to kill you, okay? Maybe even try to kill you, okay? But no weapon form or prosper, it will never work. They'll try, they'll try many times. You'll have some weird dreams, bro. I mean, it just, and see that the reason why you had those weird dreams, you were opening those doors, okay? Yes, we could repent. We could get grace. We could get mercy from the Most High. Absolutely. God is full of grace, full of mercy. But there's always consequences to our sin, okay? There's, even if you repent, yeah, you know, we're supposed to repent. You're supposed to do that. But there's always consequences to your sin. And this is why we're not supposed to give, uh, the, we're not supposed to give any, no, no power to the devil. And see, always understand this too, that we're not ignorant if it's his devices. Like I said, whenever you give up a sin, man, you're going to see the devil using people man we're not ignorant of his devices some people that are of this world they're going to be used okay because they're of this world like i said anyone who does not have the holy spirit who's not walking in truth okay they could be used by the devil it doesn't matter if it's a family member uh your best friend your girlfriend your boyfriend it doesn't matter okay it does not matter if you not have the holy spirit they could be used by spiritual wickedness in high places okay so and one thing i noticed about falling short man when you get back up oh it feels so good it feels so great okay it feels good to wake up and to notice that i'm serving the god of the god of all gods the god of israel the true god that i'm a follower of the son who overcame the wicked one okay jesus christ yeshua i'm it feels good okay so there's no one there's no way you could watch my videos and say mark i don't know what my purpose is okay i tell you guys the will of god those who do the will of god will abide forever okay and we don't want to be a slave to our sin we don't want to be a slave to satan's kingdom Ooh, let's talk about that real quick Okay, Satan, like I said, Satan's kingdom, one thing about the devil when, especially if you have a purpose, especially if you're a chosen one, uh, you know, and you, and you fall, you fall, you see yourself fall short, right? And, you know, it depends. Some people get back up faster. For me, I get back up faster because I know that the more I stay down, the harder it is to get back up. Okay, all these demons, you know, try to keep you back down. So I know that once I fall short, okay, bro, like, I got to do right. And also, when you have the Holy Spirit, you're going to get heavenly convicted, okay? You're going to feel convicted in your, your spirit, your soul. And the Most High, He won't give you peace, okay? He, and He'll do that on purpose so you can go back to Him, okay? If you keep your mind on the Most High, He'll give you perfect peace. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. So keep that in mind too as well. And, you know, when, when, you, when, it, when it comes to falling short, you don't want to be a slave to your sin. You don't want to be a slave to Satan's kingdom because not only that, if you, if you stay comfortable, because the devil could bless you too, all right? We know God blesses us, right? And the devil could bless you too. And when you're in Satan's kingdom long, long enough, he'll give you the money. He'll give you uh, the girls or, or, you know, whatever your vice is. He'll give you that. The devil knows exactly 
what you struggle with. He knows what you like. He's going to give that to you, okay? He's going to give it to you. And the, the what he's given to you, they also belong to Satan's kingdom too. And especially if you have a high calling, he's going to give you even more because he's like, dang, like that man or that woman is winning souls over for the kingdom. I can't let this person go. So I'm going to make sure I reward him double. I'm going to make sure I, I bless him or her more, okay? And you got to understand, man, the pleasures of what Satan can give you, the pleasures of sin, it's never worth it. It is never worth it. it might, you might feel like it's worth it in the moment because that's just your flesh, but it ain't worth it, bro. So it's time to be warriors, not warriors. And like I said, guys, people ask me for questions all the time about, you know, Mark, how can I get answers from God? Listen, bro, you want to be seeking the most high. You want to be loving him with all your mind, your heart, your body, your, your, and your soul. Okay, that is the greatest commandment. If you ain't doing that, it's going to be hard to get answers from God. If you're, if you're being lukewarm, you're being double-minded, it's going to be hard to get answers from God, okay? So we want to strive to be obedient, okay? We want to strive to do that because that's that's better than sacrifice. That is true love for God, okay? To be obedient, to obey what he says, okay? Choose this day whom you're going to serve. I'm going to serve the God of Israel, the Most High God. So yeah, guys, I fell short again. Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I probably lost count. It's like my fourth, fifth time, but hey. Like I said, one thing I noticed about falling short and getting back up again, I feel stronger. I rise up again. I feel more bold, bro. I feel more spiritually elevated. It feels good. And I know this is God blessing me. And like I said, guys, I've been doing a lot of fasting. Okay, whenever y'all struggling with sin, start doing some fasting, start doing some prayer, man. Get deep into it, cut people off. Get in that isolation mode. Get yourself right. Tell your friends, hey, I'm gonna hit you up later. I got things to do. I gotta get right with the most high. The fake friends, they're gonna look at you weird or crazy. Those people you gotta cut off. The real friends are gonna be like, oh damn, like I respect that. All right, bro. Keep doing your thing. If you ever need me, call me, whatever. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, like, all right. That, that's the real friends. Those are the ones you gotta keep around. The people who feel like you look at you weird or crazy because you're trying to get your your soul and spirit right, cut them off. Okay, a lot of these people are snakes. Okay, anyone who doesn't want to see you get right with God, those are weird, those are weirdos, bro. Those are straight weirdos. So I hope you guys got blessed by this message. If you have already, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I know I forgot to get my ND filter for the camera, so it might be kind of too bright. Doesn't matter. I love you guys so much. Peace and shalom. I'm out. Peace.